Okay, I'm just doing a little bit. I got it. Okay, sorry about that. I'm just going to do a little bit because that, that kind of ended abruptly at the phone call. And I don't, boy, you know, I for the life of me don't know how to do that to just pause things and help people add a lot. I wanted to show you when what I do with the, my single of yarn. Um, any of you would like to tell me when there's a good time of day and what, how to light things, I would really appreciate that. I'm trying to figure out what the best distance is for um, hmm, not getting blurry. Okay, what I do is uh, for my bobbin, I pull a bunch of the single of the um, yarn I'm wrapping. Mine happens to be Cormel, but I pull a bunch of that out so that the tension is very loose when it wraps. In fact, if I wanted to like experiment like a long draw, I could probably just not even, um, you know how you, you, let's see if we get that. You know how you, with a long draw, you sort of just hold your fiber and let the tension of your wheel pull it in? That's entirely possible with this. And it might come out way cool, but I'm trying to do this in somewhat of a, um, fashion that you can um, see it better but I'm putting I have next to no tension on this yarn that I'm wrapping because I want the loops to be pretty big crazy messy big too the messy ones when you go back to ply are so fun. They, they're the ones that add the real interest to the yarn. See, that got a little bit tangled up, so I went to undo that for you. I'm trying to just figure out where I can block the light that's causing a glare. And um, Let's see, down here in front of the chair. <laughs> Why does my phone not... I wonder... I swear I've been thinking I'm having a migraine all day because everything seems foggy. That's, I'm not going to be a very happy camper if that ends up being what the problem is. Okay, so I'm just going to let this go on here, let it go on there, let it go on like that. And I think you probably are bored silly with me doing this now um, and have got it. I'll finish up this bobbin and um, let's see if we can see it. What in the world? Okay, I'm going to monkey with this. Let me see if I can get that. This is about how I like my loops to be. Could be closer, could be farther, but that's about how I like my loops to be before I go back and um, ply it. So I'm going to finish up this bobbin right now, and then I will go back and make that one plying. But there you can see a good image, how it just really varies. Some are fairly fuzzy because this one particular fleece, I just wanted to see what it would look like if I, okay, I took it out of the washer, out of the washer, well, soaking it. I took it out of the wash, and I um, I didn't card it or anything, and that, that's really typical for me. Sometimes I'll flick the ends a little bit, but I wanted to see what it would look like if I just absolutely paid no attention whatsoever. I did it in the dark, watched a movie. Um, my husband's been having the Hallmark Channel on every night, um, but... So I just want to see what, it, what my spinning would look like, what my fiber would look like if I just totally couldn't care less and did it in the dark. And there's some fuzzy parts, but it's pretty much a typical single. My, I'm pretty good about shaking out all the second cuts and whatnot before I put it in the wash. And then after when it's damp, the second cuts shake off really good. So hasn't been much vegetation, a little piece here and there. And I don't think this sheep was coated. But it shakes off really good. Um, and so, yeah, it was kind of fun having a whole bobbin of, a uh, way bobbin, a big bobbin, of stuff that I had no idea what I was putting on it. But I have enough fleece, so it's not a, um, I have to worry about anything being extremely lost. And if it's too funky, I just knit and felt it or make something for my dog. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go fill my bobbin up, check on my bunny rabbits, and um, 
I'll do the plying tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.